Previously on the pallet wood cabin build. Myself and my dad collected the pallets for free from various industrial estates and supermarkets. We stripped the pallets down and recycled the nails to be used again later on. The aim of this project is to try and spend no money at all. We decided on a location in the forest and carried in the wood by hand. First phase of the build was to create a frame that would be a sturdy base for the cabin. We used the thicker parts of wood from the pallets to make joists and then the thinner parts as floorboards. Join us now for episode two, where we aim to finish the floor, raise it off the ground, and begin to build the side frames of the cabin.
So we're just building a um, bit of a wall at the moment. We've taken a bit of a break from the, the cabin itself. Gone a bit more bushcrafty, done some stakes, and we're just weaving this little wall here that's gonna link our log cabin, our log store, sorry, up to the cabin, hopefully. What do you think, Dad? Should we carry on with this? I think, now we've made a start on this, we've established where the wall's gonna go. I feel much happier, now we've got that base done, Yeah. is uh, get the DPC in there, and that way, you know, we, we, we can work upwards and yeah. keep, it keep the damp out. Yeah, that's what I think, yeah. All right, let's do it. So firstly, thanks very much to everyone who watched the, the sort of first, well, episode, first, yeah. first phase of the, uh, the Palletwood cabin build. Um, we got obviously loads of comments. It's, I think it's had, as we're filming this, over 140,000 views already or something like that, which is crazy. We never expected it to be this big. But we've had loads of comments and I've done my best to read through as many comments as possible. Um, and there's obviously a few themes in the comments that we'd like to address and answer here. Um, one of the first things was, um, the, the, the base platform itself, which we've just finished, mm. uh, how are we going to protect it from the damp or the rot? So what we've used is? We used DPC, which we we're going to do anyway. But yeah, we just know, didn't think that the video would go so big and we get so many questions. We're just doing it slowly. It was, it's in the second film, which is this one. <coughs> yeah. But everybody in the first film, oh, they've jumped ahead of us. Yeah. You know, really, they, they, they should have waited before they commented, but they're right. It's fine, yeah. Um, but yeah. I've worked with Palette Wood for a, about 30 years. <laughs> about 30 years, at least. And if it touches the ground in our country, I generally, I, I made one, it's on YouTube if you want to look at it, it's how to make a picket fence from pallet wood. Mm. God, it's got... I'll know. put a link in the video description to yeah, that video. Yeah, I mean, if you want to check it out. So I did this years ago. If it touches the ground, the base plate, it will be okay for about four years. Obviously, yeah. different countries, whether it's dry or moist, or you have bugs chewing it, will be different rates. So four years, so I think every four years, I don't mind replacing a fence, it doesn't bother me. This is not permanent structure. This is a fun bug out the, cabin. What, this what, is, you know. the, the point of this was, guys, hopefully, so you can get this, because a lot of carpentry experts popped up on our last video. They crawled out the woodwork as such. That's quite a good pun. <laughs> yeah, but good. Um, yeah, it, you know, the, the first point of us building this was actually to, for us to spend some time together, just a father son project. Yeah. We are not experts. We're not carpentry experts. We're not woodworking experts. We're just literally a father and son that Doing thought, it. that came up with an idea. Dad came up with this idea. He doesn't watch much YouTube at all. He makes videos on YouTube, but he doesn't watch much. So you pretty much came up with this whole concept mm. of this pallet wood cabin. But the, the point we want to get across is that this is not going to be a perfect cabin, guys. It's not. Uh, there's not going to be making it. No, there's, there's going to be a lot of things wrong with it. But we, we've accepted that and we're okay with that because at the end of the day, it's fun. It's a, it's a piece of wood. It's made out of wood. Like it's it will nothing. rot. It will rot. If it rots in two years, we don't mind. We'll get some oh, fun no, out of it. Years, yeah. You know, we'll enjoy some time, hopefully make loads of videos in it. But, but what we need to tell them is, to make your wood last longer, and I've done building work, so I'm well aware of how we're going to do it. It's just that everybody jumped on the bandwagon too mm. quick. Yeah. Is that we're obviously going to raise what we can from here. We didn't want to raise it on great big rocks. Why? Um, we don't have any rocks. We're trying to... There's no great big rocks yeah, here. Yeah. We've done enough work carrying tons of timber in here <laughs> to, you know, to get it all done. So, basically, you want an air gap between the ground and the joist. The people said the floor rot out. Well, no, because the floor's not touching the, the, floor's the on actual the joist. ground. The floor yeah. is on a four inch joist. The floor inside, we purposely use the pallet wood from other joists that's four inches deep to keep it. So there's an air block in there, if you like. There's plenty of air there. Yes, you could say that the joist will rot out, but no, it won't, it'll last longer. That's what we put here, this DPC. It's so standard, I use it in my building. You put it between DPC, the DPC, just explain so people know DPC what it means. DPC is a damp proof coarse membrane, which is a plastic membrane, and that is a four inch wide one. Gosh, that fits four inches, that's handy. It's a brick width. Okay, so you'd lay this down between what you call your underground or engineering bricks, which is subsurface level, bring it up, and this stops the damp crawling. All houses should have this, generally would have brickwork, to stop, I think they call it osmosis, where it sucks up the moisture, mm. you'd have a damp proof membrane. I do building work, I've got loads of this stuff. So we've put this all around the edge, but we've also, rather than jack it up high and bring a load of bricks in, I use slates. Some, yeah. 
edges slated and with bear mind, We're trying not to spend any money here. You've, exactly. you've had these at home. They're your old house. Your old house, yes, exactly. Yeah. So, so we're, we're, the idea Spares. of this whole project is to not spend any money. We've we've recycled the pallet wood. We've recycled some of the nails. Yeah, yeah. There's some areas where we've had to get things like screws and things like that, but most of it is pretty much all recycled. That's the aim. Yeah, but basically this will be on the areas around the outside that are supportive. In other words, there's gaps there. Look, the ground's like this. We're not building on a concrete base. It's not level. So we're going to jam these under as well, just to give it an extra little bit of support and air gap. It doesn't mm. take much. Now, one of the guys did come up with a very interesting uh, theory on these old pallets, which you get from basically industrial areas. Might it be wise to get one if you've got, say, a chemical plant? Because you don't know what chemicals have been on the wood. Or leaked into it. Or yeah. leached into it. My wood that I get, I would get from somewhere, let's call it a retail area. Food. Or a light industrial area. It would be food, cans of tins, tins of food on there. Well, hang on, there can't be much wrong with a pallet if they're putting our food that we as humans on those pallets. Mm. Basically, if you go to somewhere... I want to. I want to say an outdoor. What, Don't go America, to a nuclear them, waste plant to exactly, collect your pallets. Yeah, yeah. Don't basically. go to Fukushima. Do yeah, not yeah. use a Fukushima pallet. <laughs> it might not be wise. Yeah. But what you want to do is get stuff that, say, tiles have been stored on. Engineering stuff, I don't mind because they use a stronger pallet, and that's why we pick up these For the four base. by twos. Yeah. Is because they use a heavier pallet, don't they? Yeah. So the other thing, the question that we did get is about the foundation of the or the base uh, being quite small. Uh, I think we said this in episode one, I'm not sure, but we'll say it now. This is a one-man cabin. It's two of us building it, but it's a one-man cabin. Bug-out cabin. It's, yeah, it's a bug-out cabin. We're not coming here to, to live, live permanently. <laughs> you, you probably could. If there was a bad situation in the world, you could probably bug out here, and you'd, be, you, you, you'd, you'd last survive. quite a few months, definitely. Rabbits, yeah. If you can hunt, you'd survive for a much longer time. Um, but the idea is it's a small, small cabin. Uh, it's not a luxurious cabin. Don't expect too much luxury to be in it. But the end of the day, it's free. We're having fun, aren't we? Absolutely. It's just, yeah, it's just yeah. That's what it's all about, really. There's a lot of initial work trying to get this done and set up. You know, you have to get your spirit level out, get your base right. Because yeah. if, if you don't have the base right, so I will tell guys that are doing this, if you don't have that base level, <laughs> no. you'll well, you, you, build up the shed. The, the shed will have a twist on it. That will put out the, the accuracy of your door frame. So if you're making a door, you'll find the door changes. So just be aware of that. That's why we start from the, you build from the bottom up, standard building procedure, get your base rate, get a good foundation, and you should be aware. Yeah. Next up, I think, is what we need to do. We've done the base, it is complete. Uh, so what yeah. we're gonna do now is sort out the sides, and then probably in a further episode, we might actually do look at doing the roof and things like that. But for everyone who watched mm -hmm. the first video, the off-grid cabin pallet wood video, there's a link in the video description to, to that one. Uh, really appreciate the amazing feedback we've had from it. We've got great um, ideas. I mean, we've got some really good ideas for this, you, but suggest yours as well down below. Yeah. We've, we, we've got almost a plan of, of what we want to do in our minds. We've written nothing down. It's just yeah. we're, we're kicking it around like you do father and son. What Mike says doesn't matter. He's my son. <laughs> No, we're bouncing in between us. We are. We argue. We, we have a rant at each other. Yeah, yeah. He wants to do it one way. I want to do it another. But between us, I tell you what, you might be surprised at the end product and a few films up the road. Yeah. It's going to look pretty cool. Let's get the sides done, yeah? Yeah, more work.
So we've made some progress on the cabin. As you can see behind us, we've actually got the full frame up now. Yeah, so we've made pretty good progress doing that. Uh, but we'll just, I'll give, I'll take the camera off now and just give you a quick sort of tour and Dad can show you how we've lent it together because it's not very stable at the moment until we've got the roof on. It's not super stable, but we had to do it because we, you, well, the rain, were, the rain and the bad weather was coming as well, so we needed to get it done. But let's just quickly show you. What you've got to remember is that pallets come in generally a sort of squarish size. Now over here in the UK, they will be about 39 inches here. But by the time you cut the ends off or get splits or nails, you're down to about three feet. So I try to make here sections of 30 inches. And guys, I apologize for those who are not metric, I'm old school. So I've made 30 inch panel, 30 inch panel, 30 inch panel. And these, most of these we did down here because it was easier to ship all the wood down here, carry it in a pack rather than carry a huge big lump like this. But we got that down there. Those are then held together, these three panels with crossbars here screws in screws in just there so that locks it together and then we bring it up and the same with the back i couldn't make all this at home we had to do a lot of this here so we used from the uh nailing on the other side bending it over so it locks the wood on this side so yeah we can always panel the inside if we want to get really arty but i've made that two sections there and we just took turns in bashing away with the nails cutting there's hundreds and hundreds of cuts involved in this and i've made this just here to give you an idea standardized sort of five feet to there and i was allowed to where our head would be if we came in it's a one-man cabin i mean two could sleep in it but it's a one-man cabin i made that just over six feet here so i've raised the apex up there a bit higher i'm going to put another bracket on top of this this is holding those panels together as is this one and to hold the whole structure just in place just for like as we're finishing is i've got some right angle 90 degree brackets here fire some screws in so look it's, it's solid now, but we're going to fix it at the bottom as well. Fix some base plates in there, screw it to the deck here, our actual floorboards, and screw it into the side. Here we've got space for a glass, so we're going to have to find maybe some old glass somewhere, and uh, greenhouse glass, something like that, rather than perspex. So the next thing is, put the ridge pole up in here, but I fear with the light going, it won't be today. So we're trying to do this really on the cheap. I want to say cheap, I mean free, 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 nothing. So we're using and bending out the nails as well where we can. All this is pallet boards, that's why it's all different colours, which is quite nice because it's all different coloured wood there. And on the outside here, you can see, you can see here, look, lovely, lovely colours in the wood there. Now I've done this on like the side of a barn, and providing it doesn't touch the ground, you know, that the air can circulate, it will last a long time. If it touches the ground, pallet wood, I find generally lasts about four years. If it touches the ground, it will rot from the bottom up. I was sucks a damp up like osmosis, I believe you call it. So try and keep it raised off the ground. And the drips here will go down here, go onto the next one, down to the next one, down to the next one, so it should be dry in there. We can always pack or cork the inside here, the joints there. And then around the front, we've got the, the access for the door. And because that's cut in that angle, the way I've done it is to raise brackets here, and this will take brackets for holding the hinges. So that's my hinge bases there. So come back, I guess, in a couple of days, and we'll have a go at trying to do that, uh, that ridge in there. Might even be tomorrow, because I've really enjoyed it.